hi all in this session we are going to discuss about the uh, commands which are available here in the task my editor you can see here the task editor there is a lot of 575 plus commands will be there so it will be in the 13 categories this categories if you count this total there are 13 categories will be there so uh, you can see here categories this will be 6 9 so 13 total 13 categories are there total 13 categories we have some around 575 plus commands will be there so we'll see now first how to use these commands and all uh, first we'll see the from start from command comment is like uh, if you want to comment in a thing this is new program so you can write anything or whenever you are writing any uh, new thing uh, new task so you want to uh, convey that to understand the next guys who are using that same task they have to understand the code what is written there purpose of that so the, that's why these comments will be there if, if you run also it will not work because this is comment just for understanding the coding purposes and all so just another one is like a message box if, if you want to display any value or something just and setting just variable so message box you can see here uh, we are already discussed you can change the caption of here message box just get hello world and displaying uh, in place of variable I'm just seeing displaying this is my first program so you can do that and scroll bar you can keep scroll bar for first we will see close message how many seconds maybe two seconds I'm keeping just running this you can see here it went directly to or two because the first message is like a comment it will not read any data I want to keep the scroll bar for the message box you just keep like three lines what I'm doing is I'll just some data something I'm feeling it like just keeping five seconds then you can see that other is coming so you can see here I think scroll bar you can activate only for 10 lines minimum 10 lines is required I just given some random values so I'm running here you can see here now scroll bar is came so it will display the 10 uh, rows then after that after that scroll bar is came you can you, we close it after uh, five seconds message box will close automatically you can see that enter caption also that uh, whatever we given the message box name it will display it there. you can see here the close box hello world hello world is the message box name so this this way you can use that message box so another one is like okay, delay we'll see delay in the delay there is wait for window wait for screen change and the normal delay will be there now we will discuss delay then wait for window wait for screen change we will see in the next sessions because this will be useful when you want to use the 
uh, files and folders on the screen any websites then you will came to know what is the use of this so general delay means it's a regular delay i can give 50 seconds in the delay in milliseconds it will take you can see here 50 seconds 500 milliseconds a uh, random delay i'm just giving delay in seconds also you can give just you see here what i will do delay for 5 seconds then after that run the message works You see two delay is running. You can see here actions. The delay is running now. Three of three actions after five seconds. That script is running now. So we can keep these delays when you are opening any websites or something. For loading that website, it will take some time, right? So those places also you can use and a random delay you can use for any you are doing any work and all from or you can give the time also or you can give wait for window wait for window is like a wait for window to open wait for window to close so you just I'm what I am doing is I will do I have this window right I'm just closing this so I am just wait for window to open. So this window demo window to be open to continue next socks. So I just given this. So until unless I open the demo window, it will not run the message box. You can see here. Now it's it's open directly, right? We'll see what is the issue. What we given wait for window to open only five seconds. I just giving like a 60 seconds. Then you can see that the difference because five seconds means it's in you are unable to identify it's whether it is waited for window open. So now I'm running again. So oh, it's already there demo window that's why it's coming like that. Now you can see here wait command is running. So because there is no this one is not open now demo I open you see within seconds it's went to message box. So that way we can use if any if what we have to run then they has to depends upon some files or something if any window open then only next task it will continue for next task uh, or any web page is open after web page open, only we have to go for next task otherwise it will give the error right those places you can use or wait for screen change you can use the screen change you can select the window Can use this. You can see here. Let's see, wait command is working. Now for screen change, after screen change, it will display the value, right? So what do we captured in the screen change? As you can see here, thumbnail preview, this one. When I opened the again, automation anywhere, then it started uh, displaying value. We'll run again. Let's see. 
now this this is the there so when i change it to automation anywhere you can see here message box so it is displayed the message box so that is the use of wait for screen a screen change screen change or window change you can keep it or you can capture that you can stop the task if window is not came uh, if uh, within particular time how long the wait you can see here how long would you like to wait for before you start comparing the screen so uh, when you want to compare also you can say that two seconds after two seconds you want to compare or how uh, much time wait before stop comparing the screen after five seconds if suppose the screen is not visible you can say that stop the task or continue with next task like that there is multiple options are there or you can wait for window uh, wait for window wait for window to close if the particular window is not came then you can uh, stop the task if particular window is closed then you can stop the task like that in the particular time you can give the timeline for 55 seconds or 10 seconds something okay this is for delay or wait command for the next what we'll discuss is uh, for the next session we are going to discuss about the remaining commands thanks for watching this video if you like this please subscribe this channel